This is a Belden Snap and Seal SNS 11 AS installation. First, we're going to position the connector over the cable shown and get that down out of the way. I want to cut the cable on square using the diagonal cutters. Make sure we got a good square cut cable end. Drew that up a little bit. Next, we want to insert the tool over the end. So in this particular case, the tool is flush. This will give us a, a quarter to five sixteenths inch of center conductor exposure and a quarter inch of braid exposure. So you want to hold the cable close to the tool and rotate this tool about ten turns or until the cable jacket is cut. And right about there. And then you want to pull off the excess. Next step here is to start folding back braid wires. While you're folding back the braid wires, you want to observe, make sure that there's nothing wrapped around the center conductor. Uh, if there is uh, any issues, make sure you just cut the end off and start over again. If you're using tri shield, quad shield type cables, remove the outer foil, fold back the braid wires. Again, check for any stray braid wires wrapped around the center conductor and make sure that the center conductor is straight and it's clean of all residual dielectric. I want to make sure that center conductor is clean. Twist the connector off the compression sleeve at this point and now we want to position the connector alongside the cable as shown. What we're doing here is we want to line up the cable dielectric with the groove on the connector body. That's the groove that's right about there on the connector body. Get the dielectric lined up with that point and then mark the cable jacket back here as shown. And this will be the verification depth to make sure that the connector is fully bottomed on the cable. So we'll go ahead and put that connector over the cable. As you can see it's fully bottomed right to our mark. Now we slide the sleeve up into the connector and this is where we will compress with the L3011B tool. Slide the pin into that little uh, guide and then make sure that the plastic sleeve is bottomed in the tool pocket over here and go ahead and compress the connector. Two things happen back here. On the front end we're going to make sure that the uh, plastic is flush with the post down inside there. And we also want to check in this area to make sure that the O-ring is not visible. If you're on an indoor application, make sure you fully hand tighten the coupling nut to the port. But if you're working on an outdoor application, we recommend a thread protector. Place that over the port. And, and then for outdoor applications, you want to make sure you tighten the coupling nut to 30 inch pounds of torque.